G'day there, Radio Logic DJ friends. If you're anything like me, you find things a lot easier to pick up by watching something happen in front of you. And that's a good thing. What I've got organized today is a little bit of a tutorial on showing you how to place voiceovers, a little bit different to an intro, but can be the same, uh, on top of a music bed using Radio Logic Scheduler. So what we want to do is pick a certain song from a certain artist that we've done an intro for. So we've got to pre-record that intro and at the same time have that pulled into our schedule in the right place. So there's a few things we've got to do in the background. So the first one I did was actually record the intro. Okay, so I've compressed that. You can check out my other video on how to make your voiceovers and your intros and outros fit better with the program. Check that video out. Uh, in this case, it's Rich Goyette, anything. And I called it intro, even though it's in the intros folder. At least that way I know what it is, because I'm also going to take that file pop that into iTunes, call it something just a little bit different at the end, just so that we, uh, the Radiologic Scheduler will pick it up and know exactly what it is and how to deal with it. So in this case, we've got our voiceover. So this here is from a new artist. His name is Rich Goyer. There's part of it there. All good. So what we want to do in the background is actually go to iTunes. We want to, in this case, I've already set it up here. It's a voiceover playlist. Okay, so I've called it Rich Goyet Anything, so it's named exactly the same way that it was here in our intros folder inside Radio Logic. Okay, this time I've actually called it Dash VO at the end. So this way Radio Logic Scheduler will know that it is a voiceover and in this case what it's actually for. Okay, the other thing you want to do is set up a Music Beds folder. Okay, so if you want to have something where did I call where did I put it? Music videos. I've probably gone straight past it, haven't I? Oh, there it is. Music beds. So what you want to do is grab any kind of music that you've got that sort of fits with your format, what you're doing. It could be a little upbeat thing, like just like a jock voiceover bed. You can probably find those things on the internet or whatnot. Been around for a long time. And just label it with the dash B E D at the end. Okay, so Again, scheduler will know that it is a music bed and how it is to deal with that. So the cool thing about how Radio Logic Scheduler merges all this stuff together is really quite impressive. So what we need to do is we need to go back here and just for just for whatever reason, let's make a new one. We won't start with what we've already got. And in here, the very first oh, I see, let's just call it something first, eh, shall we? Oh, we create a new one. There we go. So what we'll call it is we'll call it VOs, like that, all good, and we'll hit our script. So the first thing we want to put in there, just to show you what's going on here, is we'll go add, and we want to add this one and call it intro. Okay, so this will give you, just going to show you the difference between an intro and an intro with a music bed. Okay, so the first one we got that all settled. Number two, what we want to do is we want to add a pick. Now this is telling scheduler what to pick and where to pick from. In this case we want to pick a song uh, from an artist which we've already made a playlist for, Rich Goyette. So that'll only look in the Rich Goyette folder of iTunes uh, for his music. Okay. So number three we also want to use a pick and this time we want to go to our voiceovers playlist inside iTunes. Okay, so it's now going to look for a voiceover. So we've just, that's going to be the first example is number one and two. The next example we're going to look at is three and four and five. Okay, so four, we'll add another one, is also a pick. I suggest this one, we probably use random and unique tracks because this is going to be for our music beds so that if you use this command again, it's going to use something different next time around if you're using it in the same hour. So the iTunes playlist we want to get it from is our previous setup, Music Beds, all good there. And then we also want to pick our Rich Goyette playlist again, okay? So what this is going to do is show you how an intro works. So I'll play that through to start off with, and then we'll just cut through that and go right through to the second part, which is what you'll be using. And what you'll be using is from line three onwards. So if you want to set up your own, you want to set up from the voiceovers, got to be followed by music beds, Radio Logic Schedule will know how to use that, and then followed by the artist that you want that to come from. So it's going to check 
what the intro is for, or in this case what the voiceover is for, and it will check the song that it's coming. And inside that Rich Goyette folder, it's going to say, well, okay, I need to pick the song that has to do with this voiceover or this intro. So let's go back here. And what's today? Monday. Let's just change it to 10 p.m. And hit the build now. And we'll go over here and see what happens. Very neat tool. Okay, so you can see it's picked the Rich Goyette, that's the intro. It's classed it as a voiceover, which is cool. And it's picked the Rich Goyette song, Simple Reminders. And then we start it again. So this is where you guys will be interested from here. Okay, it's from line three. So we've asked for the Rich Goyette Anything intro. It's a voiceover. Okay, so that's the one we took from the playlist in iTunes. Here's the music bed that it's taken from random. And here's the song that we asked for, Anything. So if we hit this... You're with Optimod, and here's some rich goyettes. Okay, so that's the intro. Good morning. Let's jump to the end of the it's song. Me. Good times and great music. Dunedin's 4XO. You're with Tim this afternoon. Now, I've got a little musical treat for you. This here is from a new artist. His name is Rich Goyette. Comes all the way from Boston. Now his album Simple Reminders, he got it all kicked off and going with the Kickstarter program which went really well, a lot of great support there. Now you need to check out this album, Simple Reminders, you can get it on iTunes, go and have a listen to the whole thing, worth every penny. Now this track that we're going to play for you is straight off that and it's called Anything. So much left and done. Okay, let's see how that all works. Very cool little tool. Again, you only need those three lines from that script. If we go back and have a quick little look at it for you. It's the pick, the voiceovers, also a pick from music beds, and then the pick from the playlist that you want to make it all happen. So there you go, go have fun with voiceovers, intros, music beds, and uh, have a rockin' radio time. Make sure you click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Catch you on the next video, guys. Cheers.